It's one of the biggest causes of a slow website, especially when you're looking on things like mobile devices with slower data connections, is not having your images optimized for those different breakpoints and devices. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that using Bricks Builder. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a large image and then we're going to set things up so as we go through the different breakpoints, we will see different images so I can visually show you the changes. However, what you would generally tend to do is optimize and resize your images specifically for those breakpoints to make sure they're optimized to the best of their ability and they don't look terrible on a big screen and massive on a small screen. Let me show you how you do it. So we've got a basic layout here with a hero section. We've got this hero image, which is set up for the desktop. However, if we go and take a look at any other breakpoint, it's the same image basically being scaled down. Not the best way of working. Bricks makes it super easy to handle this, though. If we come over to our image element on the left hand side, you can see there's our hero image setup. We have the option now to add additional sources. So we'll choose this option and inside here we can choose the breakpoints that we want to target. So we can set up based upon the mobile, tablet, desktop and also applying custom media queries so we can customize this. If we have a super large screen, for example, or very specific needs. We can create custom media queries. Now, the important thing here is you start with these at the smallest option and you work your way up. If you do it the opposite way, you kind of get funky results. The first thing we want is mobile portrait. That's the smallest device we're going to target. We'll select our image. For this example, let's choose this one and insert. Now, you can also control the size of that image. If you've got multiple versions uploaded, we'll leave this set to that size, for example. And then we can add another one in. And you've got aspect ratios and things we can control as well. So now let's just minimize this. Come back up, add another one in. This time we're going to choose a mobile landscape. We'll choose a completely different image. We'll choose this one, for example. Click Insert. We'll add one more in. And this time we're going to just choose the tablet portrait. And again, we'll choose a different image completely. We'll choose this one and click Insert. And now we have our basic desktop setup, our mobile portrait, landscape, and tablet portrait. Let's hit Save Changes. And let's test it out. So this is our desktop, our base breakpoint. Switch over to our tablet. You can see we get a different image. Switch over to our mobile landscape, a different image. Mobile portrait, a different image again. So we now have full control over what image will be displayed upon any of those breakpoints. Like I say, generally you'd have the same image just scaled and cropped and optimized for each of those different device sizes, those breakpoints. But obviously, if you wanted to use different images, you absolutely could do. Hopefully, you found this tip useful. And if you did, why not give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe while you're down there to be notified when new content just like this is added in the future. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.